Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make custom chat tags. So let's say you're the owner and you say something in chat, it's gonna have an owner tag next to it. So let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is in server script service, press the plus and insert a script. In a script, you can rename it to anything. I'm gonna rename it to well, tags because I guess that's the most well reasonable. So now you can remove print hello world in the script. Now we're gonna get chat service and we're gonna make a variable. So we're gonna do local chat service equals require. So we're making a variable called chat service. And then we're after this, we're going to require a script that gets added when the player joins to get chat. So we're gonna do game dot service script service. And then we're going to wait for a child. So we're gonna get service script service, which is pretty much the same place that the script is actually inside of. And then we're gonna wait for a child to be present inside of service script service. And we want to wait for a child called chat runner service. It's pretty much just, or actually it's called chat service runner, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it should be called chat service runner. This pretty much just contains most of the stuff. And then we're gonna do wait for child chat service so this is pretty much waiting for a child called chat service runner to be present inside of service script service and then waiting for a child called chat service to be present inside of chat service runner and for example a child is this so this tag script is a child of service script service that's pretty much what it is so now you can make a list for your tags so you can do, I'm just gonna do local tags equals. So pretty much we're gonna make a table and this is where we're gonna lay out all of our tags. So we're gonna first start off with some of these block brackets. In here, you wanna put the player's user ID. To find your user ID, go to your Roblox homepage, go to your profile and then the URL, the numbers after users slash, you wanna copy that come back to here and paste it inside of these brackets then you want to make this equivalent to and we're going to start off with tag text so we can set the tag text to anything you would like so for this sake i guess since i'm the owner i'm just going to put owner or actually i'm just going to put tutorial owner why not it looks weird but i'm just going to capitalize the letters just makes it feel nicer I guess now you can set the tag color you can put a comma and then tag color equals color 3 dot from RGB Oop. and then you can pick any color you want I'm gonna pick let's say a nice blue color because well blue looks good I guess so then usually if you want to add another tag you can press the com you can add a comma at the end and then you can add another tag to the or after that part so now we're going to go out of our table and we're going to do chat service dot speaker added and pretty much what a speaker is it's like it's like when you're talking your speaker but pretty much in this scenario it's when you chat so we're going to connect function so we're going to connect that to a function and inside of our function we're going to pass player or we could do player name but i guess i'll just keep it player so we're getting when a new speaker is added and we're passing that speaker as player so now we're going to get the speaker so local speaker we're making a variable called speaker and we're going to do chat service get speaker so this is getting a speaker from chat service that just sent a message and then inside of these brackets we're going to input player because that's the way we're going to get our speaker now we can do local player equals game or we could just do game dot players another way you could do this is game get service players but we're just going to do game dot players and then you can pass player in here another way could be game dot players or game get service I kind of rely on 
Yeah, I think this might also work. I haven't tested this though, but that's pretty much the same way as doing game, not players. So after we got player, we're going to check. So we're going to do if. And we're going to check if the players. So we're going to player.user ID. So this is going to check, or let's press enter. This is going to check if the player's user ID is equivalent to any of these brackets here. And if it is equivalent to the brackets that are there, we're going to do speaker. So we're calling the person who's chatting. I should notice I didn't put an equals right there. Make sure you got your equals after everything. Colon set extra data. So this is just, well, pretty much setting extra data. Tags. So we can set our new tag. These squiggly brackets. Tags. Player, oop, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on, I'm gonna re the script. Tags, and then we're gonna do player dot user ID. So we're gonna make a new source called tags, and then we're gonna attach that to the player's user ID. So let's quickly test our script out. So you can close the script, and we can hit the play button. Let's check this out if this works. Check output. Let's chat test as you can see it says tutorial owner next to my name let me stop this real quick and if we go to the tag script let's say i type in zero and then i press the x and i hit the play button let's let this load up real quick once i load it into the game i type in test again and as you can see there's no chat tag so once again, let me go copy my user ID. Once again, if you don't know how to get your user ID, go to the Roblox website, go to your profile, and in the URL, after roblox.com slash users, after that slash, there's going to be a number. That's your user ID. You can copy that and then paste that into here. And then let's just say, I'm just going to put owner. And if you want to add another one, you, you can just copy this part and paste it once more down. You might want to change the ID. And then this could be like co-owner. You can go to your color. Let's say I want co-owner to be like a purple color. And well, since I'm not co-owner, it's not going to change it. But let me just show you that it's owner. And then I'll change it back to co-owner. So I test. It says owner right next to my username. Go back to tags. Let's sw swap this here. And let's replace this one with zero. So we just swapped the tag numbers. Now you should see my chat color should be purple. And it says co owner. So hopefully this helps you create your game. And yeah, bye.